Hello guys, welcome to this video, and I have a project that I've made. I was originally planning on doing like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, but it didn't turn out so well. I ended up having a lot of errors, and that's because I didn't plan very well, and I didn't, I didn't like have my scripts ready. I haven't already worked out the bugs in it, so yeah, I'm just going to show you everything I've done in this game so far. And I'm going to kind of walk you through every single line of code to show you that how this works. And I'll also have a link to this project in the description and a link to the code in the description. So let's get started. So first of all, let me just kind of explain what this does. The start timer button obviously starts the timer. The stop timer button, again, self-explanatory, stops the timer. And erase personal best button will erase your personal best. So if you stop the timer, and the time you've gotten on the timer is greater than the personal best that you've already saved to your computer, and this is just like, it's not online or anything, it's just saved to your computer with, through player prefs, it's really simple. And if you hit the erase personal best button after you've saved one and it's more than your last personal best, then It'll save that one. I need to erase personal best to get rid of it. So, first of all, let me show you the code. So I've started by creating the the script. It's called UI Controller, and I started by adding the line Unity Engine.UI, and this is required if you want to work with any UI components like text. And so basically, what I did was I started with making a integer, and I called it time you set it to zero when you first start and you set your and I have a public text timer and your public text which is high score and this is your timer and this is your high score so the high score I decided to detach so this one you had to worry about adding the time string before you added the integer this one you just have to worry about the integer so let me open up Visual Studio again and in my start function. So if the player prefs has the key high score saved to it, you want it to um you want the high score dot text to um say the player pref that's already your high score. If it doesn't have it saved to it, you want your high score text to say no high scores yet because you haven't saved one yet to your to your computer. So I created a public void start timer. And just to kind of show you this, I'm pretty sure most of you know this, but the reason I have to make it a public void is so in your UI components, like the button, you can drag whatever component you've saved your script to. I like to do it to the canvas if you're working with UI components. You can also do it to the main camera. You can really do it with anything. Just make sure it's not like a enemy or something that's going to get deleted because that'll cause errors. And you want to use UI controller dot start timer and that's basically the public function that I had in the script already so just keep in mind that if you the function called start timer means you press that button stop timer means you press that button and yeah so at the beginning of start timer it says set your time to zero and then it sets the invoke repeating of increment time one once. That basically calls the increment time function every single second. So what the increment time function does is it adds one to your time and sets your timer text to the time. So basically the string time and then a colon then a space and then the integer of time. So then in your public void stop timer you want to cancel the invoke so it'll stop this. It won't keep doing this every single second. And then in your player prefs, that get int high score, if that is greater than time, then you want to set your high score with the set high score function. So this is the only function that's not a button, and but still, I made it public just because I wasn't thinking, but you want to use player prefs dot set int your high score to your time. If that high score, if you wanted to set a high score and if your high score and they set the high score dot text to player prefs that get in high score and then to string 
because it's an integer and if you you want to set the text to a string and you can't set the string to an integer so you have to clarify with that and with you want to do clear high scores if you press that button you use player prefs dot delete key and then high scores and then you set the high score text to no high scores yet so yeah that's about it for this script again I'll put it in the description and I'll put a link to the whole project in the description so you can kinda of look at how I linked everything up and how it all worked so now I'm just kinda of gonna show you how this works so you have the scene my terrible game like thing and then you have the brand down there personal best everything kinda of what I've already showed you but you want to hit start timer and it starts a timer as you can see every one second it adds something to the timer and then when you hit stop timer it'll set that to your personal best so you can exit the game and then you can re-enter the game and your personal best is still there so if you started the timer again now let's say you got three not as good as your personal best so it's not gonna save it's not gonna save your high score because it was less than your personal best so then you can erase your personal best and it says no high scores yet and the cool thing about this is it'll remember it so this is really useful if you're doing a game like um, an infinite runner and it goes on forever it's based on time so you want to save your personal best to uh, to your computer and you can go back to the game and access it later so yeah I had fun making this I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial again sorry the step-by-step -step thing didn't work out I'll try to do one of those in the future but yeah thanks for watching